Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll dive into the RankX DAX function in Power BI and explore how you can use it to rank your data. I will guide you through the step-by-step -step implementation to help you understand it better. Before creating the measure using RankX function, let me quickly show you the syntax of this DAX function. This RankX function basically returns the ranking of a number in a list of numbers for each row in the table argument. And the syntax is rank x and then table and the expression, expression as in the measure, it can be anything, total sales, total profit or any measure. And after that, whatever you are saying, the arguments, right? Like vadu, order, tie. So these are optional, but the table and the expression, these two are mandatory parameters which you have to pass. So here I have already created a measure that is total sales. It's just the sum of sales. And first we'll create a measure which calculates the rank values based on total sales for the subcategory. So I'll go to new measure and let's name it as sales underscore rank. The function is rank X. And the first parameter is the table name. So we'll first specify our table name that is orders, comma. And our expression is the measure that is total sales. So total sales. And that's it. Now let me include this measure to this visual sales rank. So now see here for each subcategory, the rank value is showing as one. And this is not at all correct, right? Because we are not supposed to get one for each subcategory, right? It is basically considering the filter context at each row. And it is getting filtered for this particular subcategory and showing the rank. So that's the reason at each row, it is showing the rank as one. But we want to calculate the rank based on the entire data set, based on all the subcategories that we are showing in this table, right? We have to fix this issue. Again, let's go back to the measure and here we have to make some changes. So right now we have specified the table as orders, right? This is where we have to make some changes. So instead of just passing the table name, what we'll do is we'll use all function. In our visual, since we are uh, showing the rank for the subcategory level, right? So we'll specify subcategory here. The reason behind using all function here is all function ensures the ranking happens across all the subcategories in this visualization, ignoring the filters. So now let's save this and see how the number shows. Now the rank is showing me the data properly. I have already sorted uh, the visual on uh, total sales in descending order. So you can see for the highest total sales that is for the subcategory phones, the rank is showing one. Now we'll see how this uh, visual shows the data for rank when we select some values from this subcategory slicer. Phones, art, envelopes, machines, tables bookcases. So now see here the way it is showing right now is not making much sense, right? Because uh, it's showing like 1, 4, 7, 8, 12, 15. I don't want the rank to be displayed in this manner. I want whenever I select some values from this subcategory slicer, the rank should show in a proper sequence. Basically, since I'm using all function in the measure calculation, all function ignores any filter, be it inside the visual or outside the visual. Again, we have to make uh, a little change. So again, let's go to our measure. So now, instead of all, we'll use all selected function here. Because all selected function performs same as all function, only difference is all selected function considers the filters which are coming outside the visual. So all selected function will respond to this slicer selection. So let's save it and see how it is showing now. So now you see it's making a lot more sense, right? Because based on my selection, you can see that the number is changing as per the correct sequence. Let me clear the slicer and see here also there is no change. It is showing the data as per our expectation, but at the same time, it is showing the data properly when I'm selecting some values from the slicer as well. 
Now we'll see few more scenarios. For example, so far we have created this sales rank measure for the subcategory level. Now let me add category as well to this visual and let's see how it works. Let me sort by category. So now you see for each category it is showing the rank. If you see here for technology there are four subcategories so it is showing the rank 1, 2, 3, 4. Again for office supplies the rank is resetting at 1. Again for furniture it is starting at 1 and showing the rank accordingly. Now again see after I have added the category field to this visual the rank data has changed. It is showing me the rank at category level but again I don't want this. I want the rank to show the data for all the subcategories even though category field is present in this visual. So for that let me create another measure. I'll just copy this sales rank calculation and I'll create another measure. I'll just name it as probably version 2 or something. Okay. So here I have to add one more table. So right now I have only added uh, all selected of subcategory. Now I will also include all selected and category. And after that on top of this I will add another function that is cross join. Close this bracket. This cross join function will basically provide me a table combining both subcategory and category. This cross join will return a table which contains the Cartesian product of all rows from this table, all selected subcategory as well as all selected category table. Let's save this. And then let's add this measure to this table view. Just apply sort on only total sales. Okay, so now you can see this function is showing me the data as expected. So see here now this sales rank version 2 that I have created using the cross join function is showing me the rank for all the subcategories the way I was looking for. It is not showing the data at category level. It is showing the data at subcategory level even though category is present in the same visual. So let me again add some subcategory from the slicer. Let me add phones, chairs, binders, art and you can see here this number is also showing me data as expected. I have just added category slicer as well just to show whether uh, this measure is functioning correctly or not when I'm selecting some category. So let me select for example technology. Okay so see here when I'm selecting technology it is showing me the data correctly. Let me just select phones probably machines and see it is working fine. Let me select office supplies. Let me select paper then binders storage and see here this newly created measure is showing me the data correctly. So now we'll move on to our next example. So see here I have just created a very simple data set here. So I have country and for each country I'm showing the total sales. And if you see here for Australia and Spain the sales amount is same. So now we'll see how to handle this kind of scenario when the values are same or when there is a tie. First we'll create a measure to calculate the rank based on this total sales country field for the countries. Let's first create the measure. Let's name it as rank underscore sales. We'll use rank x function and all selected and we'll use country field. So rank example country, close the bracket and the measure is total sales country. That's it. Let's add this to this visual. Let's sort this at descending out. Okay. So now you see whenever there is a tie right the next consecutive rank is getting skipped basically. If you want to show the consecutive rank even though there is a tie then there is an option which you can use. So for example here after 2 the next rank is coming as 4 right. So instead of 4 if you want to show the rank as 3. If you don't want to skip the consecutive rank. So we'll just make some small change over here. 
comma and then the value so this is optional we'll just keep it as blank we'll just not specify anything just another comma and order anyways by default it is descending so it's again fine no need to mention anything another comma so the last option is ties so when there is tie so there are two options dense and skip so right now the way the rank is showing right it is falling under skip so we don't want to skip the uh, consecutive rank we want to show the rank so we'll specify as dense and let's see how the rank shows the data now so see here after i specified the tie as dense so even though there is a tie it is not skipping the next consecutive rank it is showing the next consecutive rank that's all for today's video i hope that you have found this video useful thanks a lot for watching do subscribe to my channel bye bye